This clip is brought to you by SaveWithConrad.com. We should thank Dave Silva for all the comedy. I don't know if you saw the feedback online, but a lot of people had a blast talking about Silva sucking his own fart when he, uh, mm. pointed his, uh, hindquarters mm. towards the CPAP machine and <laughs> sucked his own fart. Mm. It's a t-shirt down over at box But, uh, it made me wonder. What are some, or who are some of the more legendary farters throughout wrestling history that you've run across? Well, dusty is number one, right? That's about all where's rebel stack up. <laughs> You're really reaching today. Aren't you? Um, there's a rumor. I'm sure you've heard. Oh. God. Okay. Go ahead. The Vince once farted You know, everybody used to fart on Jerry Briscoe. Cause he had a weak stomach and he would okay. actually gag and sometimes throw up. From a wow. No. So Vince had these violent protein farts, right? Mm, right. Those so right worst. before he goes out in front of a live audience on live television, he's standing in gorilla and he's standing right where Briscoe seated. So. If he let one out, he's like nose to nose mm. with the situation mm -hmm. and Vince felt really good about this one. Mm -hmm. So he let out the sickest, nastiest, wet fart ever. Mm -hmm. And they're counting him down three, mm -hmm. two, one, they play his music and he starts laughing and then realizes Houston, we have a problem. <laughs> Vince just shit his pants. <laughs> The rib was on him, not Jerry Briscoe. So <laughs> Vince great. went to the ring with doo-doo soaked pants. Oh God. That's a great story. Thankfully the jacket was covering most of the posterior, but there was a serious situation and Vince couldn't do anything but laugh mm -hmm. and then go out there with a load in his drawers. It's a good thing. It didn't drip right on the mat. So, and, and Rick Flair's told the story before. He's wrestling Ricky, the dragon steamboat wearing pink tights. They're scheduled to go an hour mm -hmm. and several minutes into the match, but not even 20 minutes into the match. He takes a big body slam and boom flares. Drawers slowly mm -hmm. turned to Brown. Mm -hmm. He's filled them up mm -hmm. brings out his repulse. Yeah. Tommy young told us that. Yeah. He doesn't want to go home because he wants to give the people their money's worth. So he wrestles literally in his own shit mm -hmm. for the remainder of the match. So it begs the question, you ever shit your pants at work, Tony? I've shit my pants at home. At, at work though, at AEW, no, at WCW. No, 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 I've never done that. I, well, that's not necessarily true. Let's hear it. I used to work mornings at WSB radio. By the way, this is how you start story time with Tony Schiavone, Bay Bay in the future. Mm -hmm. Okay. Anyway, so you shit your pants at WSB. No, no, I, I had to take a, I had to, I, I usually, as you know, take a crap at night. You're yeah. You're a night shitter. We've well yes, established that I'm a yeah. night shitter. Right. Got up early one morning. I usually would get up like at three 30 in the morning. And you know, when you get up at three 30, you don't want to get up. You get up as close to the time you have to leave early morning as you do. So I had to wake, wake up that morning. I had to, t I had to take a shit and I knew that if I took one of my big shits, which are usually big, that I would be rushing to get to work. Well, I did. Uh, and I got to work that, that morning and went, first of all, you go into the production room and you do it, do whatever production you got to do. And I'm in the production studio and, and WSB had seven of them across really a big time radio station run by idiots, by the way, but a big time radio station run by idiots talking about karma. WSB used to be a great radio station. It is a shell of what it once was. 
Anyway, I'm in production seven down at the end and I'm doing production and I smell shit. Oh, I'm thinking, did I step in, you know, in bugs shit or dually shit that was with us at that time or the beagles? I, I don't know. And I smell it and I go to the bathroom. Um, uh, and I realized that I hadn't wiped enough because I was in such a hurry. So there was shit in my drawers and I took them off and I threw them in the trash can and I went commando that morning. And since that time I've used Cottonelle wipes. I wish they were a sponsor because they make sure you get yourself clean. So that's the only time, but I've shipped myself here at the house. I, I've talked about that. And because of my age, because of my age, when I go on the road, I always pack two extra pair of underwear because you never know. You never know when you're going to shit yourself. <sighs> that's, all I, that's all I got. What? I'm hurting. <laughs> I just, I, and I told you that time to where I was naked in the, in my bedroom and I had to fart and a turd went flying across the room and bug like looked at me and like looked at the turd and looked at me like, what, what the fuck did you just do? And of course, you know, bug and I talk and I went, sorry, buddy. And I mean, we had just put the carpet down upstairs. And so I went to the top of the stairs. I said, Lois. Uh, what do we use to get shit off of the carpet? It's brand new. She said, well, it's brand new. It's Scotch guarded. So it shouldn't be too up. Did, 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 did bug shit on the floor? He should know better now. I went, no. Did Chewy shit on them? No. Pause, pause. Did you shit on the floor? I went, well, I really didn't mean to. She went, God, I've married a child. So there you go. This is the greatest episode. <laughs> I mean, dude, he went so serious. This went like, yeah, it felt like a real world confessional moment. <laughs> from it, MTV was. Back it, it, it was, <sighs> it, was. It, it happened. It happens, man. It, it happens. And of course I get the older you get, the more susceptible you are to shitting yourself. That's why they've got diapers for older people now, which I haven't gotten to that point yet. Would you consider wearing one? If you had to do a live show, like if they had you at the announce desk for like a marathon six hour show. Yeah. I, I can go six hours without, without pissing or shitting. I can. Who, who races to the uh, bathroom as soon as you end dynamite faster oh. caliber or Jim Ross, Jim, Jim Ross is first in line. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, but, uh, not me. I've, I'm able to hold it. I mean, not, not the way, but I've, I've got a very strong bladder. Uh, and I also think I have a very strong rectum. However, <laughs> Can can we talk about the Owen Hart Foundation more? <laughs> Hang on, but first let's finish. You said you had a tough rectum. I said no. I, <laughs> <laughs> I said that I have a very strong bladder, but I'm not so sure how strong the rectum is. Oh, you said you had a very strong rectum. I thought you'd been hulking <laughs> up on people. <laughs> I imagine your rectum wears like a Dino Bravo jacket. <laughs> <laughs> it's got that, that Frenchy mustache. <laughs> Dino Bravo jacket. <laughs> the fuck? Woo, buddy. Oh. Oh. Lord of mercy. Well, Where anyway, there's, uh, but, uh, yeah. we're supposed to be watching wrestling. You know that, right? You know, uh, back in the day. And I say in the day we're talking about eighties and probably seventies and maybe even the nineties, there was probably a lot of <sighs> shitting going on in other people's, uh, bags. All right. I don't think, and probably a lot of, you know, 
farting with people in area, chasing people away, everybody laughing. I don't think that's done much anymore. I think we have a kinder, gentler. You don't think there's no farting anymore? I think I don't. Yeah, I'm sure there is, but I mean, not as a practical joke, you know? No. Well, so now the, sh- the farting is like I- ill intentioned. The farts yeah. don't hurt. There's ill will with the farts. Yeah. You just, yeah. You just, you go somewhere into a corner and you fart and you walk out and you don't do it like dusty used to do and stick toilet paper up in there. So it sounds real loud and makes everybody laugh. But hang on, hang on. You've heard of the dusty muffler. You've told me about it. You're the one that smartened me up to it. Jesus. How do we get into this shit? You said, Literally. Hey, let me tell you about dusty Rhodes butthole. That's how it started. <laughs> I was like, we're excited to have you here. We're going to watch a little wrestling from 86. And you're like, first let's talk dusty butthole. If you will. No, no. I said, first let's talk about the Owen Hart foundation because that's important, but you didn't want to be serious today. You wanted, you wanted to be irreverent. You didn't want to be serious. You didn't want to talk about some good stuff. You want to talk about. <laughs> no, tell us more about the Owen Hart thing. I told you I read it. Okay. But no, you know, inside stuff. I mean, we, I don't know. In, I don't, I don't know any, anything more than just this. Well, we read it two weeks ago. Thanks for okay. wasting our fucking time. I'll see. There you go. I'm just saying you could have told us, yeah, we're going to do a cup. It's going to be a tag team tournament. We're modeling it after the Jim Crockett Memorial cup. Maybe next Tony's going to go ahead and cut well, a deal with Vince McMahon seniors estate. Mm. And we're going to have the Vince McMahon senior Memorial cup. You know what? Maybe you know more about it than I do since you're always plugged in. I just made all that up. You never, you never know what you, you never know what you're talking about is made up or not. Got anything else you want to talk about? Uh, yeah. I mean, we've talked First, recently about how you sometimes didn't wipe good and you would walk around with yeah. shit in your drawers. No, no. And at one time you want to, how's things uh, at uh, first family mortgage. You want to talk oh, about that a little no, bit? I no, I don't want to talk about that. I'd rather talk about your butthole. <laughs> um, did you ever look into getting a washlet? A washlet? Yeah, it's the you've you've seen them in my house. It's oh yeah, no, I, I it replaces your top seat of your toilet. People commonly yes. refer to it as a bidet, and while right. it does clean your butthole like a bidet, it's it's just known as a washlet. Have you thought about putting one in? I have. As in I'm, glad, I'm glad you reminded me. How much do they cost? Well, they cost so little that when uh. Bruce Pritchard camped out here for several days. He ordered one and had it overnighted and had it installed in the room he was staying in. Can't hide money. Can you? So I now have five uh, washlets here at Conrad. So can I ask you this <clears throat> next time you come over, you could shit all day. Yeah. I, I, uh, going a different direction with this. Sure. Uh, how come I don't hear from Bruce anymore is because I work for one company. He works for the other. He has three hours a week of free time. And I try to steal two of them okay, for podcasts. Well, it, I mean, you know, you could sit here. I could, I'm gonna do this right now. I'm gonna text him. It's just a, a, a simple text. Bruce, how you doing? As, as you're, as you're texting him, mm-hmm. he's running a meeting. It's pay-per-view day. Okay. Well, good. Then he can look at his phone when he, got, when he sits on the, the toilet at the, uh, at the pay-per-view. Without the washlet, he sits on the toilet, looks through, and he says, "Oh, Shivani sent me a, uh, uh, okay, uh, I'm doing fine, thanks." That's all it takes. So Why? you know that. So you, you know you hear it all the time. Oh, I know you're busy. You don't have time. Bullshit. This phone takes a few seconds to text somebody and reach out and just say how you doing. That's all it takes. No, I don't, agree. Don't tell. Don't tell me you don't have time to do this shit anymore. And that's it's with. It's with you all the time. And especially him, it's with him all the time because I'm sure Vince sends him a text like every three minutes. And and we know for sure that you have uh, bought in on this. I mean, you're legendary. You can just go watch any interview with Bobby Heenan, and he'll say, "Boy, that Shivani called me too often." Yeah, uh, <clears throat> people you like. Oh, you didn't like Bobby? No, he didn't like me. Oh. You think he would have liked you if you would have called him? I don't know. I did call him. Last time I called him, Cindy wouldn't let me talk to him. It's probably because you were a motherfucker. No, yeah. no, no. Boy, you are really, you're really reaching today. You're really reaching. 
by the way, at boxofgimmicks.com and lowesrules.com, there's a shirt called Conrad Thompson is a lie. It doesn't suck on that. It should. You know what you should? When I look at my watch, Conrad is. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for joining us, boys and girls. We'll be back next week. Apparently, there's one more episode. Mm with Magnum TA. And I hope that we get to hear from him next week, but we'll be talking about it in the coming weeks. I can't believe this episode's over. This one flew by, but, uh, it looks like it's about that time. Absolutely. Ladies and gentlemen in the ring right now is Dave Silva going one-on-one -on -one against Dave Hancock. Silva picks up Hancock and oh, he slams him hard. And I do what something shot across the ring. I do believe that is a, a turd. And I'm not talking about the two guys in the ring. We're desperately out of time. See you next week on What Happened When. We come to you Wednesdays on Cumulus, but on Mondays exclusively and only for you ad-free on Patron. Patreon.com forward slash WHW Monday. And of course, adfreeshows.com. Hey, hey, it's Conrad Thompson. Thanks for checking out the podcast here on YouTube. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notifications bell so you get a notice anytime we upload some new content. And go save yourself some money right now. If you're in a 30-year loan or you have credit card debt, it's not a matter of if I can save you money. It's a matter of how much. Find out right now for free at SaveWithConrad.com.